Super Bowl Sunday. We hope that your house is excited about the playoffs and actually the winner of the Super Bowl as we are here on At Home today. We just thought it would be fun to bring you some ideas and I have a very special guest, Neil, who's going to be cooking. I mean, when you say Super Bowl, what do you think of food-wise? Wings. Well, we have wings, we have pepperoni bread, we have a dip, we've got all kinds of things going. And you know, when we tape this, now it's not in January when you're going to be seeing this, but there's not much hope that our Steelers are going to do it this year. In fact, I think there's like no hope. But they did it last year, and we've got memories we haven't forgotten. They were the best. They were absolutely the best. Who could ever forget guys like this guy right here? Troy Palomalo. Oh, my goodness. I tell you, incredible. Totally incredible. And this was done by my special guest, who's not only a great cook, but he is a fabulous artist. He did this. This is all in inks and pencils. And we're going to show you more of his artwork when we come back and at the end when we're all tasting some of his food. So stick with us. You don't want to go away. We're starting the Super Bowl party, and you don't want to miss it. We'll be back in just a minute. Stay with us now. Here's today's at-home definition. Pepperoni, an Italian salami made of pork and beef, highly seasoned with black and red pepper. This slender, firm, air-dried sausage is ready to eat, often sliced very thin and used as an appetizer. If you have an at-home hint, a favorite recipe, or just a friendly greeting you'd like to share, we'd like to hear from you. Post it in the comments of this video or visit our Facebook page. Well, I'm here in the kitchen. Neil Trovey's with me. How Good you to see you, Neil. Yeah, I'm glad you're thanks, with us today. Thanks for having me on. Um, we've had Jerry Contouris from Drew's, and I know that uh, you work for Drew's. And I mean, he's like a part of the family. He's been there so long, and you're such a uh, help to them. I know they appreciate you so much. Yeah, I've been there 20 years. Have 20 you years really? Since January. Oh yep. my goodness. And you have to put up with Jerry all those days, you know. <laughs> all right, we were, we figured that you would put something together for us for a Super Bowl party. Tell us what you're going to do. Well, we have uh, buffalo nacho chicken dip here. This recipe comes, comes from a friend of mine named Laura Lechek. Oh, and, okay. Uh, she gave me this one. Then we're going to move on to like a pizza roll. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to finish up with some buffalo wings. All right, let's get started with the dip. Okay. We've got a nice hot pan here. Yeah. with uh, You want to use about two ounces of... Uh, Olive oil. Mm -hmm. We're going to fry up some chicken breast here. You want to dice it up. You want this cut nice and fine, fine right? Yeah. Okay. okay. You're going to use a nice one, nice large breast here. You're going to brown it up in the oil. Much. Get your oil nice and hot. Yeah, that's one thing when you're cooking fast and you're in a hurry. Get those pans hot before you put the food in, right? Right. right. While that's cooking, we're going to move okay. over here and we're going to add the ingredients. We're going to start oh, okay. off with two cups of shredded cheddar cheese. Cheddar. Okay. Right. Okay. Yep. And then we're going to add an eight ounce block of cream cheese to oh, that. Cream cheese, okay. Right. okay Yummo. Get that in there. Yeah, eight ounce. What do we do with that cream cheese, huh? <laughs> I mean, it's in everything now, and it's, it adds so much flavor to right. it, doesn't it? Okay, now this is going to bake in the oven. Right, right? this is going to bake in the oven, and uh, what we're going to do is when the chicken's nice and browned up, okay. we're going to add it to the uh, cheese mix okay. over there and the heat from the chicken and the oil is going to help Melts. melt the cheese oh, good. And we're going to mix that up now when you mix it up you're going to want to use a spoon don't try a whisk because it's going to get It'll all clump in it's going to yeah. get all jammed up sounds together. like maybe you tried that once okay yeah i did <laughs> you learn from your mistakes that's the way you learn that's exactly uh, right once we add that and that starts melting and we mix it we're going to add uh two tablespoons of blue cheese Oh, uh, looks like actually, poppy seed in there, yes, too. Yes, you can buy the blue cheese yeah. in any grocery store. I, I'm using our blue cheese homemade from Drew's Restaurant. From Drew's, yeah, and we it's make good. all our dressings homemade there. Okay. We're going to add a one cup of red hot wow. sauce to this. It's going to have okay. a tang. Right, and then we're going to whip that all up together. And we're going to put it in a, you can use like a nine by nine pan or a round mm -hmm. pan. Uh, put that in there. We're going to add you another. Spray that or anything? You can if it's non stick. Okay. You don't have to, but I have some Pam. You could spray okay. the outer so it doesn't stick. But it, uh, you're going to, when it's done, you're going to add another quarter cup of oh, red boy. hot over top of that to let it bake. And look at these chips. Well, tell me about them. These are nacho chips that we also have at, rest, at Drew's Restaurant. Uh, we okay. serve nachos there. But they're red and black and white. Red, black, and white. Right. Now, is that you just can just get. The color? That's just the color, right? Flavor, no, right? no, they okay. don't have any. They just uh, taste like regular uh, nacho chips. Okay. You can so use any brand you like. So that chicken is pretty almost done because Chicken's it's still going to bake done, in the oven, right? Right. How long so. does it bake? 
45 minutes. Oh, right 45. on on 375 for 45 okay. minutes. So you're not actually putting the nachos in with the dipper nachos? No, no, they're just not for, after for dipper. Out. Right. Okay. And then uh, when it's all done and you take it out, it's going to be a little runny basically because it's a cheese sure. sauce. Uh, when you serve it, you're going to serve it more warm than hot. Yeah. Once okay. it starts to get to room temperature, it'll start to thicken up so you have more of a dip. Okay, I got you. Okay, so just we're that add little that bit chicken. of heat from that's going right. to melt that's that down. Right, that's going to melt that down, right? Oh, just that's enough good. that you can mix it up. Well, there's nothing worse than trying to get uh, that cream cheese incorporated with something that when it's it's hard as a brick. Oh, I hate that. And you want to use a nice size bowl to mix it in. That way yeah, you have enough room and it's not flopping it over the sides. Can we just spray this pan? Yeah, you can spray that up a little bit. Okay. You know, it really wouldn't need much on there. But you can see how the cheese is melting in there real nicely. Right. And then we're going to add the blue cheese dressing. Oh. That little bit has a flavor that will yeah. add a lot to oh, that, yeah. doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay, and then we're going to add our hot sauce. Now, I don't know why, but that seems like a lot. But then, like, it's, what do I know? That's what I thought when, I, you know, when you first start to make it, but yeah. it's really not. Like I said, it, wow. when it first comes out, I said it'll, it'll seem a little bit runny, but then once it starts to get the room yeah. temperature and the cheese starts to congeal and, and, and stiffen. Sure. And it's, uh, it makes okay. a, a nice dip. So we're nice, all very nice mixed dip. up here. Yeah. Pour it in take the pan. this pan. Okay. Just stick it under the that's okay. good. The bus pan there. Yeah, there you go. Gotcha. It's okay. me. That usually land up on the floor. That's why I try to throw them away. Want me to hold it for you? No, I got it. I'm you got it? Yeah. I forget that this guy, he like, he picks up um, legs of lambs and everything else. So. <laughs> All right. Then we go. Then we just have their sauce in the pan there. And yeah. like I said, you can add, you know, the, you can add the hot sauce to taste if you like. I like things spicy. If you want a little bit more All spicy, right. you can add some more. If not, you, you can go. add a little bit less. But there we go. Ah. That's good there. Okay, and that goes in the oven. And we're gonna pop that right in the oven. You cook 350? that 350. Or I'm sorry, 375 for 45 minutes. The edges and the top start will start to, to brown up. And okay. You'll know it's done. All right, go ahead, pop that in. Get that going. Next, you're gonna work on. Put yeah. That out of the way. This is your, uh, what's this, pepperoni bread? Okay, yes, you, this is pepperoni bread, but you can use whatever ingredients you like. If you like mushrooms, sausage, peppers, and onions, okay. it's basically pizza in a roll. And this is just like bread dough, frozen, right. right? This is just frozen bread dough. You can get like four or five in a pack at any Giant Eagle or wow. shop and save for okay. a couple dollars. Uh, you just take it out, you let it rise for a couple hours. Until it Flour, thaws down, right. yeah. Flour it up, roll it out. Doesn't matter, it's wrinkled, does right. it? Right, no, it doesn't matter, but you don't want it too thin. <laughs> no. So that way when you roll it up, you don't want holes breaking right. in it, okay? So we've got our pizza dough here. We're gonna add some homemade marinara sauce here, that I got from spoon? Drew's restaurant. Oh. But you can use any kind of pizza sauce, your own homemade sauce, okay. whatever you like. You spoon it all over there. Huh? Spoon it out, one cup of pizza sauce, okay? When you spread it out, you're gonna roll they... it towards you, go ahead. I never thought they made pizza at Drew's. Well, we don't make, pe make pizza. This is our pasta sauce, our marinara oh, it's a pasta. sauce, okay, right? I got you. Which is uh, homemade and, and it's really good. So I, I prefer this on my yeah. pizza. But like okay. I said, you can use pizza sauce or marinara whatever sauce, you whatever want. you like. Okay. Uh, we're gonna roll it towards you. Okay. You don't want to get too much on the on the end because when you roll You're it, you don't want to seep sure. it seeping out. Okay. And then you add your ingredients. I got one cup of provolone cheese here. Oh, you got it all chopped mozzarella, up. Mozzarella, shredded, whatever you like. So do you put it all over or just down Spread in the center? Spread it around. Over. Right. Okay. Spread it around. Okay. And pepperoni. Then we're going to add pepperoni to this one, but like I said, you, you can, can add, do olives, hot yeah, peppers. Yeah, whatever your preference is as sausage. far as pizza is concerned. It could just oh, be a white cool. pizza with just the cheese and the uh, maybe it's, and the yeah. dough. Okay, or and then fresh we are going to roll. Okay. Okay. I'm While roll he's rolling, you. go ahead. We're going to take a break because he's going to put this in the oven. We come back more with the pepperoni bread and more for our Super Bowl Sunday party. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Do you love watching At Home with Arlene Williams? Then be sure to check out our new YouTube channel. It's filled with classic episodes from over 20 years of At Home and more videos are added each day. And don't forget to click the subscribe button so you'll never miss another episode of At Home. Well, if you've just joined us, you're missing the Super Bowl party that my friend and my, my uh, very special guest, Neil, is here to, uh, to do for us today. And he already has a wonderful chicken dip in the oven, cooking hot, do with uh, nachos. And we've just, he's just done this pepperoni bread and you rolled it up, and I said stop, because they need to see how you tuck the ends in. Right, when we roll it up, like I said, you're gonna leave a little bit of uh, dough on the end, and you're gonna fold it up. You want to 
want to try to get the crease on the top and not underneath. That way, if any sauce oh, leaks out, it doesn't stick it to the pan. See, normally, you'd flip that over so that'd be on the bottom, right. but you don't but, do that. But that, okay. way, that way, if it leaks out, you don't it's have to worry about top. a mess. Okay. Okay, and then we're going to tuck the ends. Okay, just tuck okay. them up and over. That way, you try to, you know, uh, stop any leakage that comes out of yeah. the sides. If you have a fork, you can just press, press down it, on okay. the ends and, and mash them down. But and you just sprayed that with fine. some pan. Right, we sprayed it with some pan. We're gonna. Now take you don't have this. to let that raise any longer. No, do you? no, it'll it'll cook up real nice in the oven. And we're just gonna hit it with a little bit of pan, a little bit of butter on the top, sprinkle just a little bit of oregano. Oh, oregano. And okay. we're ready to go. All right, so that goes in the oven. This All is right. Popped in the oven. And okay. we're gonna cook this. For about 45 minutes also. Oh, so we got both of them, which is nice when they're coming out at the same time, right? right? That's pretty cool. That's great. Okay, now the next one is the plain good old... Good old buffalo good wings. Good old buffalo if wings. If you're like me, you like them spicy, so... <laughs> so yeah. we're gonna, he's going to show us how to do them really spicy. All right, we're going to take some wings here. i got a dozen wings, and basically you can get them in three sizes. All right, now let's talk the size okay. of these wings. These... You, you like disjointed them, right? Yes. Sometimes took the they'll, tips off. Right. Sometimes they'll come in the whole wing, clip right. the clip the uh, tips off, and then cut them in half. Okay. I find them just easier to eat that yeah. way rather than trying Flopping to break them apart. Flopping around and you're trying to break them. Especially when you have sauce on them, you know they're sure. messy to handle. Sure. So we have a dozen wings here. Uh, we have jumbo wings. You can get small, what kind of medium. Oil do you have there? This is uh, vegetable oil, about two quarts of vegetable oil. Okay. You want to make sure the wings are covered. So that they cook evenly. That's probably about 350 degrees. Yes, about 300 you know what I degrees. I found, like if you don't know when it's 350, if you have an electric skillet, like a deep one, that's got a control on it that mm. tells you 350. That helps me. Maybe that would be a, a service to you too. So All right. So we've got our wings frying up here. Now, how long are they going to fry? They're going to fry. I like mine crispy, but so just to make I. sure they're done, they're going to fry for about 15 minutes or so. Okay. Okay, fry them up and uh, make sure they're golden sauce, brown. Right? Now we're going to make the sauce, right? Okay. We're going to start here. In wow. a pan. Now you're going to start with about three fourths of a stick, maybe three fourths of a stick of butter. Okay. You're going to melt that down. And okay. you just oh, what kind of hot sauce? Is this well, both the same kind? Yeah, it's. Uh, I'm using actually Frank's Red Hot. Okay. Uh, we have some uh, powdered red pepper, some Cajun mix, oh, and a little bit of flour. And what we're going to do and we're is we're calling the fire chief <laughs> to come up immediately when this is over. <laughs> We're going to melt this butter down, okay. and then once it's melted down, we're going to add a little bit of flour to it and let you that make boil. A roux. We're going to make a roux, okay. right? That way we get like a nice thick sauce, kind of like sure. almost like a barbecue texture. Well, see, and that's going to stick to these these. Uh, right, exactly. And when you pour too. it on, it just doesn't run off. It's yeah. going to be a nice thick. Because I don't sauce like when there. that gets like off. Because you're always trying to dip some to get some on mm -hmm. some of the hot on there. But if this is thicker, I've never seen anybody do this. Is this your own concoction? Yeah, this is my own recipe. This is this is that's the way great. I like to make them. I don't like them runny and watery. So we're going to, butter's almost melted here. Okay. We're going to add about two, te or two tablespoons of flour to that mix. Okay. Now tell me while knife. you're doing that. How did you get into this artwork? This well, is fabulous stuff. I'm I, telling you. I've been drawing since I was in high school. I have you? And, uh, you know, just odds and ends. People sure. would like, you know, uh, pictures done. And, you know, you hear it all the time. Well, hey, you know, you're really good. You ought to sell your artwork. And you uh, think, ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I started off putting pictures on eBay. Oh. And uh, selling them on there, and they and they took off. And uh, after that, I just by word of mouth, people you know um, you, see them, and then you can't even see. Items. I mean, what you're seeing here, you can appreciate. But I'm telling you, when you see them in person, as they say, this is so incredible. And he doesn't just do sports figures; he does all kinds of figures, family, friends, pets, other teams. If you're not a Steeler fan, say you might. Who would think they right, could like another, a, a, another a grandkid or a son or daughter and right. uh, plays high school sports? A lot of people oh, like portraits, yeah. right? Like hey, how about like how that. about something for your uh, granddaughter who's a cheerleader? That'd be yeah. a great thing. Okay, now we have a nice okay. roux going. We're gonna, we're gonna add, give you his number later on. So hold on. We're gonna add two cups of red hot. Two cups of red hot. Okay. okay. Whoa, that's gonna be nice and Whip hot. That up. Okay, and then here we have some. Cajun mix. It's two tablespoons of Cajun mix. We're going to add That's that a variety of spices, like right. Cajun spices. Nice and okay. spicy. And, and you didn't put anything on that chicken when you put that in there, did you? This chicken. Oh, no, no. I don't you like it. Do Some people lightly bread it or maybe flour it. I just no. like the plain wings like that. Okay. okay. And then good. we're going to add a uh, teaspoon of powdered red pepper. Like a cayenne or something? Right. Okay. And then we're going to whip that up and see it's getting a nice thick. Was this extra? So that was, yeah, that was oh, that from one. the other one. Oh, you may. Okay. We could dump it in oh, there. Oh, please. Make it extra hot. No, 
by now who's counting how much is in there, you know? <laughs> okay, and then uh, our sauce. You don't have to get this boiling. You just want it just hot. Just want it warm enough to uh, right. incorporate. And okay, now what are we doing with this? Go here. That actually I brought, uh, we could uh, we could make a couple of the wings, show them how to make like just a garlic parm sauce. Basically, it's just oh. a little bit of butter, melt it down, add some, some uh, in case uh, you granulated want garlic, heart. right. Some, a lot of people like the garlic mm -hmm. parm wings, and then you sprinkle some uh, Parmesan cheese over top ah, of that. that make some garlic good parm too. wings. That sounds yeah, great. We have them at Drew's, and they sell, they're, a lot of people like those. Absolutely. So we're pretty much there. Right. All we have to do is wait for these babies to brown. Right, brown up a little bit. Boy, they're cooking right along nicely. We've got stuff going in the oven. And you know what? We're going to come back in a few minutes. We're going to be in the dining room. you got to see this party. It's just great. And we're glad that you're here with us today. So stick around. We'll be back in just a moment. Just go to ctvn.org slash at home to get all the recipes from today's show for free. That's right. No subscriptions. They're available online at no cost. And more are being added each day. So join us at ctvn.org slash at home to get today's recipes now. Uh, Neil, you're going to finish up on that other batch of wings that you're going to make with the garlic butter. Okay, show us how to do that. Right, well, we took the wings out of the oil and we put a little paper towel on a plate just to absorb some of the uh, oil off of sure. there. And we're just going to dip them in our buffalo sauce here, get it all over. Oh, boy. Take it out. We're going to do half of these buffalo and we're going to do half of these uh, garlic parmesan. Okay. That'll be good. Okay. I like that there's, there, you can do both ways, you yeah. know, and, and you, because some people can't do the hot stuff. Right. And I think when you plan a buffet, you need to remember that. And now the garlic know. parm ones, we could just, uh, we got a little bit of but melted butter with some, uh, let me little get a spoon, spoon here, yeah. with some garlic in it. And basically what you're going to do is, we're going to put them on the plate here. Doesn't okay. matter if it gets mixed here. Okay. You're gonna spoon out some of your butter and make sure you got some oh garlic boy. in there, just right over top. Now that's granulated garlic, real right? Fine, granulated right? garlic, right over top there. <laughs> and then we're just gonna use a sprinkle of Parmesan cheese on top of that oh for some my. garlic parm wings. Bring them on over here with you. Come on, my goodness, set them next. And you can see that big platter of the ones that he made before with that fabulous hot sauce. And I see you put some blue cheese and. I think it's a good balance, huh? Right, it's blue cheese dressing with some that. celery. Right, with especially with the hot wings, it'll oh, help uh, it, subdue it, the taste. It balances there a bit, it out. Right. And then over there, that's fabulous. That that smell of that uh, chicken dip. Yeah, it's it's What's very it called? good. Hot wing chicken it. It's dip. It's a buffalo nacho a buffalo. chicken dip. Oh man. Okay, and then look at this pepperoni bread. This is like pretty yeah, as a picture. Yeah, turned out really nice. That baby is beautiful. Now, how long did we do that for? That took about forty-five minutes to cook. Right, forty-five on three minutes. Okay. Right. And then we had we got a. Um, a nice cake that's in the shape of a football it says go team and then we just added we try to keep in mind that there might be somebody who would be dieting that maybe couldn't eat so we just did a nice big vegetable tray i think that's always appropriate and some scoops here with another this is a simple little easy dip and we'll put this in the newsletter so you'll be having it too and this is just salsa and cream cheese and you can go mild medium hot and then you scoop it out easy you can do all this stuff ahead of time and that's the key we chilled down some sodas we've got some chips and we're ready to go for the Super Bowl party. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, this welcome. has been great. Have a happy Super Bowl Sunday. Thanks so much, Neil. It's been great to have you. It's been great to have you, family. Be sure to join us the next time because it just wouldn't be the same without you. Here at home, we'll see you then. Furnishings provided by Levin Furniture, featuring Lane's Country Living Collection. Food provided by Jordan Banana Company, wholesalers of fresh fruit and vegetables in Travosburg, Pennsylvania. Don't forget to click the subscribe button so you'll never miss another episode of At Home. Thank you for watching. Cornerstone Television wishes to thank all our faithful viewers whose consistent prayers and financial support have made this program possible.